Watch this video to learn how to play the E minor race car scales found in the Piano Adventures 3B technique book. Watch while I play the E minor race car scales in the right hand. The first two lines of this exercise are written in the natural minor, so they have just one sharp, F sharp. The last line is written in the harmonic minor, so it has both an F sharp and a D sharp. Now it is your turn to practice this part. Pause the video and play it three times. The first time, I would like you to focus on playing the correct notes. The second time you play, focus on staying in rhythm. Go for no rhythm breaks. And the third time that you play, bring in those dynamics. Now watch while I play the exercise in the left hand. Just like the right hand exercise, the first two lines focus on the natural minor scale and the last line focuses on the harmonic minor scale. The major difference between the left hand and right hand exercises is the direction of playing. It's your turn. Pause and play this exercise three times for yourself. Just like last time, we're going to focus the first play on playing the correct notes. The second play, we are focusing on no breaks in the rhythm. And the final play, we are bringing in the dynamics and other markings. Here is your practice plan for the E minor race car scales. Make sure your metronome is on for this exercise. You are going to play each hand one to two times for each speed of your metronome, setting it to three different speeds. The speed that you set your metronome to should increase over the week. You should be able to play it at a faster speed at the end of the week than you were playing at the beginning of the week. You should aim to get your metronome between 100 and 132 beats a minute by the end of your practice week. After you play each scale individually, the third step will be to play the right hand to the left hand back to back, and you will choose your middle metronome speed for the day to play those at. Great job focusing on learning these race car scales and good luck in your practice.